We know that the different types of cancer in American Indian Alaska Natives actually vary by regions. Here in the Northern Plains, lung cancer is the highest, particularly among women, and that's primarily due to smoking. There is a ninefold difference in lung cancer mortality in the Northern Plains compared to tribes in the Southwest. The Indians are not a homogenous group. There are over 550 uh, federally recognized tribes and many that actually, many tribes that are not recognized by the federal government. And it turns out that the cancer patterns among these natives nationwide are really quite different in some areas. Well, I trained uh, at the University of North Dakota in the Indians into Medicine program uh, back in the 1970s. Uh, and at the time, they said Native Americans didn't have cancer problems, and I just accepted that. But as I got into practice in North Dakota, I myself was seeing a lot of Native women with breast cancer, and particularly younger women, presenting with more advanced disease, and, and many of them uh, dying prematurely. So I started to challenge those statistics. What we need to do is engage the communities themselves, give them the data that they need uh, to help address the problem and uh, find out if they have certain knowledge that maybe we could all work together towards common goals of prevention and earlier detection. Ceremonial tobacco has a special role in many American Indian communities. And because of this, we have to develop culturally relevant materials for our tribes in terms of cessation. We've been working with traditional healers on the Navajo Nation for, for probably about 10 years or so, and we know that they have a huge role in the community as leaders. We put together information that was culturally relevant for traditional healers back on Navajo Nation, and through these efforts, they've been able to make the decision on their end to pass resolutions to prohibit the use of cigarettes in their ceremonies. Here in New Mexico, almost 20 to 30 percent of the state lives in rural areas, and these are things that influence the burden of cancer. They can influence how you see health care, how you approach health care. They can uh, affect uh, things that you're doing, how you're living your life, whether you're exercising, what kind of a diet you eat. These are all things that influence the burden of cancer and how you access health care can influence how you're going to do with that cancer once you're diagnosed with it. It seems to come down to access to screening, knowledge of the community about going for screening, and timely referral because if women uh, had an abnormal mammogram and had to wait to get referred to a contract care facility such as where I was practicing, um, that delay might significantly affect their ability to survive. Our challenge is to, is to characterize the burden of cancer among these uh, diverse populations, to bring that to people's attention, to see where the resources are needed to address cancer disparities, uh, even identify what those cancer disparities are, and then hopefully guide us uh, to what, what resources can be brought to, the, brought to bear to, to help us diminish these disparities.